Welcome to our actual character creation episode, everyone. Uh, we are excited to get to making our Christmas story just a ton more weird. But before we get to that, for some announcements. Uh, just one more reminder, since we record the first two episodes of each series on the same file, this episode is going to have some of the same audio issues as part one. Uh, things will be not much better by part three. I'm very sorry. Something weird happened with my track and I uh -huh. don't know what it is. And for some reason, five minutes later, when we started recording again, it did not do that. So. No. And I was so sick. So <laughs> yeah. you're going to hear nasally Ryan for this whole series. Um, and I, I really hope that it uh, it clears up for the next one. I'm pretty sure the next one was fine. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Sincere apologies that I was recording from inside of a submarine or something. Yeah. Um, it just cut off like the top part of my audio and I don't know what it was doing. So uh, it's better next time. Thank you for bearing with us. I'm really bummed because this is such a great series. But yeah. um, Ryan did clean it up pretty well and at the best he could. So, yeah, uh, it'll be it's, okay. It, it'll be fine. Uh, we'll we'll have this one out uh, for you today, and then we've got the discussion next week, which should sound a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, and then we've got the the week or two break for the holidays, and and uh, who knows, we might have some bonus content at some point within the next uh, couple weeks or so. Um, and then we are back after New Year's. So Ooh, for uh, 2022, I'm, I'm excited. We've already it's got already. Uh, series 46 recorded. So uh, look forward to that in a, a mm -hmm. few weeks as well. That's a good one. Absolutely. For now, bear with us as we get back into the series and see how character creation goes for this game. Enjoy the show. episode of Character Creation Cast, we created a small town named Goldvind, with a bear wearing a bee suit mascot named Hibernate, a cyber cafe, an antique shop, a local diner, and a crumbling infrastructure. We didn't get to start character creation quite yet, so we are picking up right where we left off last time. Enjoy. Okay, Great. so we have made our town. Yes. They have a honey yes. festival. They have a bear. In a bee costume mm -hmm. named Hibernate. Hibernate, yep. Mm -hmm. Hibernate. Hibernate. Um, <laughs> what next? I think we make people. Oh, oh wonderful. The best now, now we can make some people. Let's make some people. To exist in our in our honey centric world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so sweet. I hope they have their own like town coffee that like has like honey notes in it. Oh, oh for there sure. has was, to be. Just thinking that as I'm drinking a uh, coffee based on the Madison forward soccer team. What? Um, their mascot is a flamingo. This is why I bought this coffee. Oh. <laughs> so I found it at the grocery store. It's from the Just Coffee Co-op. Um, and then I looked up their website and they have this coffee for the Madison forward. Mm -hmm. And their mascot is a flamingo. And flamingos are my favorite animal. So, of course, I bought this coffee. It's called mm -hmm. Wake the Flock Up. <laughs> and it supports their like youth soccer fund. So I'm like, also mm -hmm. it supports charity or whatever. But it made me think that like this town needs their own like bee themed coffee with like hibernate yeah. on it. It has to have like honey notes in it. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to think of a good coffee pun sometime too, maybe. If we can come oh, up. absolutely. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, if they have a bear themed cyber cafe, they should have their own coffee too. To come up with that, well, I'm gonna stop naming things though. We haven't even characters yet. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, right. characters. What do we do now? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um. So one thing about characters, and maybe you can move this to the useful term section, is the uh, the small town versus big city dynamic. Um. This, you know, this is the that classic Christmas movie trope of like people from the big city are like this and small town people are like this. 
it, mm-hmm. it's kind of like a a three choice alignment chart where okay. <laughs> you, you know like th- there are there are certain prescriptive ideas that come with being from the small town or the big city or somewhere else but they're also really just guidelines like if you want to to play your character a different way you don't have to be like the sm- I am the small town I am like this is this you but, officially saying you're not going to come into people's homes and tell them no. how to play the game? Oh, for sure not. Like officially promising not to break into people's houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've you're playing the game like that makes me far happier than anything you could do like changing what I've made in in any way. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, but, uh, you know, small town characters, usually they, they live life at a slower pace. They're, they're more community minded, which, you know, is partially because they're surrounded by people who know them. And so, you know, they might gossip about the, the things that they do. And, you know, they're, they're not necessarily closed minded people, but new ideas are slow to take hold. Mm-hmm. Uh, characters from the big city, you know, they're used to a, a faster paced life. They... They're more concerned about like the needs of an individual or individual person's opinions, not necessarily their own opinions, but like they don't mind standing out or breaking norms for, you know, if, it, if it's for the right reason. <laughs> and, you know, they city life exposes you to to so many people and so many different ideas and viewpoints. So it's kind of hard to take any given one seriously. So, you know, just people from the city, they if they're in the small town, they tend to have a particular goal in mind and want to focus on that. OK. Uh, characters from somewhere else are all a little bit different. There's like the secret royalty. There's the time traveler. <laughs> they're, they're all a little different, but they, you know, they fall somewhere in between that, that town yeah. city spectrum. That makes sense. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. And that that kind of I've always sort of toyed with like does the game need this but like ultimately i decide it kind of does because it's more trope reinforcement yeah and like i i come from a small town in rural virginia and i currently live in a big city so like this is my way of putting a a bit of my own experience into a very trope filled game oh absolutely Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm from the, like, weird, awkward in-between of the suburbs. Uh, like, you know, not really either. Like, yeah. you know, Milwaukee is, like, 10 minutes. Like, at one point, the other side of my street was Milwaukee. Like, I mm. lived right on the line between the two, you oh, know, two places. Mm. Um, yeah, it was really weird because Milwaukee does their trick-or-treating on different days. And we were, like, the only house on our side mm. of the street, so nobody came. Oh. We did not know that the first year we lived there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'm, like, in that. It's like not really a small town because it's, you know, you're close enough that you can just, you have all of the stuff from the city, but mm-hmm. like still, you know, small enough that everybody like freaks out and needs to save their spot for the parade five days early because it's yeah. the big thing that's happening, you know, so it's like that weird in between thing of like, it's, it's pretty small, but also like not, you know, yeah. you don't have to drive an hour to get to the city. You can go mm, to whatever right. restaurant you want and like go see a show at, you know. Yeah. the the performing arts center or something like that with no problem at all yeah sports suburbs, teams are here yeah. <laughs> S- suburbs do not exist in this game yes yeah, yeah no <laughs> <laughs> there's there's small town and not small town right so yeah you are one or the other then well then there's like my grandparents who lived mm-hmm. in like small town small town that didn't have their own fire department and it was like a 45 minute drive to the grocery store uh, so well. you know that's that's a whole other kind of small town. It was like 10 people that mm-hmm. lived there. You know, yeah. like the, the population of the town, you know, tripled when we all came for Christmas. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ryan, you sounded like you maybe had some ideas on what you wanted to do. I haven't finished scrolling through all of my choices yet. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm i kind of set on one of the roles. Uh, I, and I could, I could step into a different role if somebody really, really wants this Follow one. Follow your heart. Tell me what you want to yeah. do there. Um, I really want to be the time traveler. Okay, of course you Ooh, do. Okay. Really want to be the time traveler. In, into it. Yeah. So well, one thing I kind of noted is that the uh, the time traveler is sort of defined just by being from a different time period. Yeah. So if if we wanted to do like a period piece where everyone else is from the like the, the 1800s or whatever, and the time traveler has come in from our time, 
Like that's uh, another another dynamic you can introduce. Did you have a, a particular viewpoint, like whether you wanted to be from a particular time period? I, I, I was thinking uh, keep keep the modern uh, setting of this mm-hmm. small town, like well, the we kind of have to. We have an inter- inter- cafe. internet cafe yeah, exactly. and Jimmy Carter. Cafe. So. so we've got all of that going on, right? Uh, I would say mm-hmm. like modern, you know, twenty twenties ish time period uh maybe uh you know slightly in the future slightly in the past doesn't matter um and uh i think my character is from like further in the future oh interesting yeah did you have a a year in mind like 2030 or like 3000 uh no i was thinking like 60 years in the future okay yeah so like Mm. technically future but like uh you know within a lifetime Mm mm-hmm that's that's an interesting dynamic see you are are you also like from this small town's future or are you just you know from elsewhere in the future um i'm thinking the small town yeah mm, so you know how how certain things are going to happen yeah interesting interesting but i don't want to get too much into it until somebody else uh selects yeah. some stuff but mm. i kind of want to go event planner I'm going to follow my heart and do the thing that I, Amelia, the real person, actually strongly considered going to school for. But my Hmm. parents said it was not really a viable career choice. I would like to point out that my sister is now in school for event planning. Um, (laughs) (laughs) They've learned some things over the last 11 years, and they were like, great choice, Mary. Um, So I still give her a hard time about that. She will be a very good event planner. She's probably better at it than I am. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, I think I I would like to be an event planner. Okay. I would like to be from small town, but have not been here in a really, really, really long time. Um, And then I would like to come back and plan our honey festival, which we're having around Christmas time for God knows what reason. (laughs) For (laughs) plot reasons. For plot Uh, reasons, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's our Christmas honey festival. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like you do. (laughs) It's a honey festival. Nothing screams Christmas like honey festival. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um, I think I will be the closest thing. I, I think I will be the closest thing a Christmas movie has to a villain and play the boss. Ooh. Yeah, the, the boss is someone rich and influential. Uh, I'm going to be from the big city, maybe uh, a part of this whole wind farm scenario mm-hmm. I'm here to, to make some deals and, uh, and Make then sure it snows and you're yeah. trapped here for and Christmas? And then I'm trapped, yeah. Oh, no. For Christmas. I mean, I don't care too much about Christmas, but I've got a job to do. <laughs> of course, I'm sorry. You know, back, you know, back in the real world, the big city. <laughs> in the big city, yes. <laughs> in Cityopolis, yes. where I'm from. You've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... All right. Event planner, the boss, and time traveler. I love it. Okay. So uh, character creation is uh, pretty straightforward in this system. Uh, A lot of times you're going to be like filling in a blank for a prompt or picking things off of a list. Uh, Each role has a a different list to it. Uh, Maybe if we want to go through like these things one at a time or you know, uh, back and forth, like e- each person does like their, their create the following for your character. And then we all, we all say that we, we all do the two props together. Then we do the, the choose one things together. Mm-hmm. Okay. However, sounds easiest and best for you and, and your editing. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, let's go, uh, let's just go down the, the list of, uh, cause it looks like we've got create the following for your character. Mm-hmm. Um, if we can do that, uh, for each of us. Yeah. And then and then go from there. Okay. Uh, names and pronouns. Hmm. Naming thing. This game has too many names. I'm too, gonna, too many I'm gonna to name. leave a review. I'll still like I'll still give it five stars because that's important, but I'm gonna say uh, too much naming things. Too much <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> things have to be called other things. It's it's too I much. don't understand. <laughs> I why can't I just gesture vaguely at something right. and people know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Can I just call it a color? <laughs> Okay. For some reason, I want the name Maribel. I don't know why. Mm. It feels correct. I don't it's, have va- name. it's vaguely festive. Mm-hmm. Right. There's, you know, there's always the, the character named like Holly or Joy. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Along those lines. Yeah. Um, 
I think because, yeah, it has Mary and Bells in it. Mm-hmm. Mary Bell. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like not quite as on the nose as just being named like Noel. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a thinker. Yeah. Uh, when should I go over our pun? <laughs> <laughs> you you, uh, you, you got to make people work for it. Uh-huh. And then I feel like I need like a really generic, like, Christmas. What's a good Christmas movie last name? Uh, hmm. Winters? Winters. Mm, that's excellent. <laughs> Amazing. Mm-hmm. Maribel Winters. I went with, uh, I went with Rick Newcomb. Or Newcomb. Mm-hmm. Newcomb. Like a like a honeycomb, only new. Oh, oh I like oh. it. I like it. Yeah. Uh he him pronouns. Oh yeah. yeah, I should say she her. Yeah. Uh I think just to to further put the boss in contrast to this pound, uh to this town, uh I'm I'm going to be uh Summer Worthington the Fourth. <gasps> Ooh. And uh she her pronouns. Nice. Some summer is coming. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I love it. So it looks like we've got some other questions uh, that we can answer um, mm-hmm. as well. You want to do those in the same order? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the big, big event you're planning for somebody in town, I said, is already the Honey Festival, the Winter Honey Festival. Do, you, do they have a summer one as well? Is this a biannual Probably. event? Well, this is, this is the Christmas event? Honey Festival, right? The Christmas yeah. Honey Festival. Yes. Yeah. So it's there's very a, important that it's Christmas. It yeah. is like, it's not just about honey, it is about Christmas. Christmas and honey. Christmas and honey. Yeah. What's, what's sweeter than Christmas and honey? Nothing. Literally no, nothing. Literally yeah. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my question is, what, where and when are you from uh, and how did you get here, basically? So uh, I'm from 60 years in the future and I got here via an invention that happened uh, to be created due to, due to the technological boom after the wind farm came to the city. Mm. I don't think I left enough room to write all this down. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You should start putting my, my weird session notes on our website, too. Oh, you yeah. see my terrible handwriting on maps. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So I come up with a high-powered job, and I, I think I'm going to be the, the classic uh, land developer. I have ties to business and development and other like vague like city coded things for like a bad outsider who wants yes. to to build to build and change things real estate words yeah i'm in real estate and oh, development nothing nothing scarier mm-hmm. that's amazing yeah I, I come in and i say i'm gonna build a new farm and people are very excited a wind farm and they're just aghast <laughs> <laughs> Far, farming wind you don't what? understand <laughs> how do you milk a windmill <laughs> oh no it's, it's it's business yeah oh um so i had a follow-up question uh for mine because uh, i noticed everybody else only has three uh yeah, so my follow-up a... question was what did you do uh in the time period you're from and, and 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 Rick Newcomb was a beekeeper. Mm. Oh, a future beekeeper. A future beekeeper. And why is he coming to the past? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a bit more going on with the time traveler, so they needed an extra question. Yeah, <laughs> no, that makes total sense. <laughs> and my third question is: What do people notice about you? Mm-hmm. Um, this part. What do people notice about me? I thought I'd answer all of them, but I feel like I just skipped even reading this one um, <laughs> yeah i think because i'm from here people notice how different i am since i left mm. like they notice all of the things that are not small town about me they're like you when you lived here you used to not care about that <laughs> and it's like yeah i know i didn't care about fast internet because i didn't know that fast internet was a thing but now it is and yeah. i do care so I can't order the place cards for your honey festival if I can't get on the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, I, I went with a very uh, like tropey answer of my perfect hair. Ooh, yeah. And Is it a perfect beehive? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I probably not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. In the future, maybe. In the. F- yeah, beehives look a little different in, yeah. in sixty years. I see a lot. Of, a lot of beekeeping technology advances. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and what people notice about Summer, I think, is that, you know, she she talks big, uh, has has a lot of ideas, but she never really makes eye contact with you. Like, n- not necessarily out of, like, averting her gaze because, like, she's awkward about it, but, I like, she doesn't think you're worth making eye contact oh. with. Oh. <laughs> like, she's here to sell a product to people in power and get out. Oh, boy. She, she doesn't belong in this small town mm. of community no. and eye contact. and It's very clear that she ain't from around here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh oh pick two props yeah oh amazing <sighs> okay so let's see here i'm gonna read this list because i feel like our, our listeners need to need to see what my choices are here hmm. a van full of supplies lots of checklists something that always calms you down a team of semi-capable assistants less and less sleep each night clothing with your company logo on it or something else Okay, first of all, I'm obviously picking lots and lots of checklists. That's mm-hmm. just, I, like, I'm Amelia and I can't not pick that. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And then I, I feel like just for the NPC fun of it, I would like a team of semi-capable assistants. Because nice. I, I think there's a lot of a lot of fun to be had there. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Cool. Let's see, my, yes. my list oh, yeah. of props, yeah. I've got... Choices between an old-fashioned or futuristic way of getting around, a portrait of a loved one, a task to perform in order to go home, (laughs) a mysterious magical or technological device, out-of-place clothing, so many questions, or something else. (laughs) Ryan's going to pick questions for sure. (laughs) Uh, I was thinking about it, but I I, I think I wanted to do two different ones, actually. How um, dare you prove mm-hmm. me wrong on the Christmas episode? I know, right? right? So, uh, I, I want to, I, I think my character has answers, not questions. Oh. Uh, yeah. Mm. I know. So, I'm going to choose a portrait of a loved one, which is the aged, my current time portrait of somebody current. Oh. oh. Yeah. And oh, good. Um, a mysterious magical or technological device. So I've got a mysterious technological device, which is my time traveling device. Okay. Nice, nice. So uh, the props I have to choose from are a put upon assistant, perfectly tailored outfits, hunger for the next big thing, a laptop full of secrets, lots of connections, a helicopter, or something else. Uh, <laughs> A helicopter would solve my problem, so I'm not going to go with that. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I'm going to go with a put-upon assistant and mm-hmm. a laptop full of secrets. That's, there that's a perfect. Sin- a sinister meaning behind this wind farm? Who knows? I might. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you Rick might. does. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I only traveled back in time to before the wind farm was here, you know, for fun. Yeah, for funsies. <laughs> Not for an actual reason. No. Okay. Choose one you're an expert at creating and one clients keep asking you for. Cooking and cocktails, big show pieces, music and dancing, decor and ambiance. Family-friendly entertainment, intimate moments. Um, let's see here. I am going to say that I'm an expert at decor. Um, and the thing that clients keep asking for, the people in this town want. Um, mm-hmm. You're doing the, the big honey festival. Right. Yeah. I mean, I feel that, like they're going to want, come like, with some, yeah. family-friendly entertainment, probably. Mm-hmm. But... Because nobody's going to ask for intimate moments. But I feel like I want that to be the answer because I feel like that needs to be a thing. Like, that needs to be in Oh. But what like, if no- there's... The, yeah, what if there's a centerpiece of the Honey Festival? Or or maybe, like, an old superstition. Like, if you you kiss under the big, like, oak tree or something, you, mm-hmm. you get married eventually. And, like, they, the town makes a big deal about that. Like, setting up the, the perfect oh, moments. yeah. Like, if you meet each other at the Honey Festival. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, you know... Yeah, and so then there's like always some couple celebrating their like 60th anniversary at the Honey uh-huh. Festival. And oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna say um, I'm an expert at decor, but not intimate moments. Yeah, I don't really do that. 
I like the thought of like a uh, like a a tradition of like you you taste like the honey and then you you kiss. Um, oh. So it's like a sweet kiss, right? Yeah. Um, uh, kind of like that, the mistletoe sort of thing, right? Oh, that's mm. that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Why did I accept this job? Terrible. Okay. That's amazing. Um, so mine says, choose one thing this time period does way better than your own time, and one you can't get a handle on. Uh, so I have choices between food and drink, science and technology, acceptable social behavior, conflict <laughs> resolution, fashion and beauty, art and entertainment. So I'm thinking uh, way better than uh, my own time probably would be uh maybe acceptable social behavior hmm. um because i think once the once the wind farms and the technology took over um people stopped being like small town friendly after a while Ooh. oh gotcha um and then one thing uh i can't get a handle on um gosh i'm gonna say the maybe the science and technology of today it's all too old fashioned for yes, you. It's too old fashioned. Where, where are the touch screen? Wait, no, there's even a touch screen. I can't just like think it and it happens in right. my, my just, metaverse. Like, like doing like mind powers at these like giant IMAX. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> like the just first time, your hand. like I remember my kids realizing that our TV wasn't a touch screen. I was like, oh my God, I'm old. Like <laughs> they were like swiping Oof. because they'd done stuff on an iPad before. Yeah. So they mm-hmm. were like two or three and they're like standing in front of the TV, just like swiping. And I'm like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh my God. I'm, I'm doing so that, old. but with like holographic gestures and right, stuff yeah. and talking to the TV. Well, what's going on? Why is this not working? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so yeah. out of touch. Okay. So I have choose one you're known for and one you're hiding the truth of. Ooh. Uh, a connection with somebody famous, charitable donations, your relationship with your family, how you influence public opinion, your personality, or where you come from. And I'm going to say I am known for um, where you come from. I'm, I'm a city. I'm a city girl, born and raised. It, it's part of my personality. Like how, how people say, like I'm from Chicago. I say I'm from the big city. I'm from yeah. Cityopolis. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I've moved in. I've decided <laughs> I'm, I'm from Cityopolis. And uh, a thing that I'm hiding the truth of is my personality. Uh, I'm in, I, you know, I'm in, I'm in real estate and development and business. I, I need to be friendly and, and put on a good face and like sell people and all the benefits of what I'm selling them on. But behind the scenes, I'm just like a boiling pot of emotions. Like these rubes, they don't understand. There's a big picture. There's important things that need to be happening. And I'm sick and tired of talking to all of them about it. Oh, so she, she's secretly a shark. Yeah. Oh, fun, fun. Nate asked me that yesterday about, like, I went to the pharmacy to pick up his medication, and they didn't have it. Like, I specifically changed it to, like, have it at the local pharmacy, and they sent it to, like, the other one where we used to Mm. live. And I was like, okay, fine. And then I walk away from the counter, and I'm like, I told them not to do that, and they did it. And he's like, why are you so different at the counter? And I was like, what? (laughs) And he's like, when you talk to them, you're like, oh, okay, it's fine. And then you turn around, you're like, it's not fine. And I was like, well, Mm -hmm. because it's not her fault. Like, the pharmacist (laughs) did not call me Medicaid. Like, I'm not going to yell at her. But he's like, just talk so different to that. I was like, okay. (laughs) called out. He's like, you have a different voice now. (laughs) Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That that's when you take him back to to John Locke and the social contract. And right, right. I was like, it's polite. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to John Locke in a few years. Yeah, <laughs> use, use the poli sci for for something good. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> we we talk a lot about infrastructure spending and and you know trickle down economics. So you know <laughs> one thing at a time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like that is all the questions that I have on here. Yeah, yeah, we right? got, uh, it looks like we've got relationship questions on yeah. page. Oh, two. yeah, you're right. I can uh, scroll down and look at the next page. You know. Yeah, so the, there should be one more question at the bottom of each first page. Oh, yeah, look There's at a that little, little character defining. Question. I know how to scroll. Yeah. <laughs> 
why is this event particularly stressful for you? Um, I think because I grew up with it and because this was my town, it's like kind of personal. And so I I needed to go well because I've seen it go well in years past. And I also need to like prove to everybody here that me leaving was still like reasonable and that the job that I do is good um, so that they're not like, OK, you're also a crappy event planner on top of leaving. It could be like, no, I, I learned things and I'm. And putting them to good use and i am capable yeah hmm. the yeah the the time traveler doesn't have a, a bottom question since yeah. they got an extra create the following for their character mm -hmm. but maybe i should change that for just for consistency's sake but uh the boss has the question why have you accepted the sacrifices your job asks of you and i'm gonna lean into the trope and say that i need to please my parents oh it you know, I, I, I want to do a good job. I, you know, I had a very cold childhood where I, I constantly had to, to be the best and to be impressive. And that has continued well into my adulthood. Yeah. And I, I just, if I do a good enough job, maybe daddy will love me. Aww. Aww. Sad. So, yeah, there, there's a, a sad heart to, to this boss behind all the, 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 you know, there's the 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 public facing layer, the private facing layer, and then my deepest desire in my heart, which is just to be accepted. Uh huh. So all Ava's the tropes. really wants exactly all the tropes. Yes. Okay. Ask each question to a different player. Oh. Da, da, da. Um. Mm -hmm. So my first question is: What have you heard about me that makes you hesitant to attend my events? Have Have either of you heard anything about me? So you you went away from the small town. Oh, did you, that's true. Did did you go to the big city where I might have met you? Well, where else would I go? Those are the only two places in the world. That's, that, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe Fair. I do plan like corporate events. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe I, I can answer that question then. Yeah, yeah that's a, um, that sounds good. Let me see. Isn't so. I think the. Hmm. Maybe the uh, the kind of focus on your the the kind of events that you do is see because you you're an expert at the the decor. Eh, yes, ambience, the decor right? and ambience. Okay, so I think then that what what I'm looking for in an event is a way to like make connections and and talk to people and and do business things and you. I think you put together a, a very nice looking event, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's very it's very distracting in, in a lot of ways. Like I'm, I'm trying You're to like, I to, need networking, not yeah. tablecloths. Yeah, like, th <laughs> this is nice. Like, let, like, but give me some moments for for me to, to do my thing. Mm -hmm. Like, like if I end up attending this honey festival for whatever reason, it's going to be impossible for me to, to make deals and do business things business that the technical term yeah yep <laughs> i'm doing the, business yeah the the christmas movie oversimplification uh -huh. i do business things yeah all okay. right and my other question is how are you involved in the event i'm planning rick oh yeah okay so and this one definitely makes more sense for you yeah mm -hmm. so i'm gosh i'm thinking that um it has it has to have something to do with the the bees and the honey, right? Yes, mm -hmm. that is um, that is what the event is. Right. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, and in also terms what of you are. <laughs> either either procuring them or um, maybe there's something um, maybe there's something about the bees that I need to fix. Ooh. Ooh. You are uh, you are posing as a bee veteran. Yeah. A bee veterinarian. A bee. I don't know what's a bee doctor. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Yeah. So that is, that is like the the exact kind of like made up job for a Christmas movie. <laughs> it's like yeah, this this is definitely a, a person. A job a person can make a full time living. On. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a bee doctor uh, as my cover. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. And there's something wrong with the bees. Oh no. And I'm like running around like, I don't have time. I need them to fly in formation and make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and maybe that's why I came back is because this is the start of something that went wrong with the bees. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's amazing. Right, I'm just going to write down B Dr. Rick. B Dr. Rick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. And you, you, you know, you'll, you'll call out Dr. Rick and Rick will just keep walking like, no, oh, 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 me. Yes. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yes, I'm a doctor. <laughs> yes, that is true. I'm very a doctor much a doctor. for me, specifically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am so glad you are here. You know, it's like perfect timing. <laughs> it's, it's so informal in this town because I normally go by Dr. Newcomb, but I, I enjoy Dr. Rick from the locals here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my god amazing um yes. okay so my questions are uh what unknown connection is there between us who would this apply to the best well obviously mm. one of us is your secret future uh portrait yeah clearly yeah i like that so who is it who is it it could go either way it's true I don't know. Roll a D6, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Should, should we just leave it up to fate? Let's leave it up to fate. Yeah. And we will make this. I mean, I am okay. I guess we should ask Danny, are you also uh, okay with that oh, being the yeah, outcome? Please. Yeah, flip, um, flip the please, six-sided coin. Please decide who is a love interest. We have no <laughs> love interest so far, and it's not Christmas without love. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm getting out my, uh, my dice. Uh, they were uh, slightly out of the way. I don't know, mine aren't even in here right now. There's a nice clicky clack fully for yeah, everybody. Some yeah, some good yeah. dice sounds. Good mm. dice sounds. All right, what do we got? I should probably decide. I haven't looked at it yet. Yes, evens so, are odds. Uh, evens are going to be uh, Danny. Odds are uh, Amelia. Okay. And it is evens. Um, yeah. So, Summer, uh, I've got a picture of you from the oh, future. Oh, 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 oh. future. Um, and you are one of my loved ones. Mm -hmm. um, however, we want that to work. Yes. However. Amazing. Do I have to find your true love to be in order Ooh. to be born? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you it. came back yes. to get your parents together. Uh yeah. That's what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. I came back to save the bees, but then I realized I I won't exist if my parents don't ever meet. Mm hmm Oh. Like what yeah, what if there's a thing with like like building the wind farm and if like the wind farm gets built then then the you know the then summer will never find love and then you'll never be born or, or something. Right. right, because you would not have to stay around this town if the wind farm yeah. doesn't get built, you'll never yeah. have a reason to come back here. Uh-huh. Well then I think the you, obvious answer is that we are the parents. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh right? goodness. See, you actually have to get us together. Oh, mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Uh, if if I my notes are correct, I we both have uh, she her pronouns though. So yes. maybe maybe just avoiding any sort of scientific or, or gender identity questions, we have to eventually adopt you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think yes. that would work out really well. Um, or um, you know, adopt my, one of my parents, right? Right. Um, it's 60, it's 60, 60 years, years from now. So yeah, it could, you could years. you could be well, my grandparents, yeah. basically. Yeah, well, we don't know how old the portrait is, though. Oh, that's true. That's true. And like, how old is Rick? I would I would say like Rick's... you're from 60 years in the future, mm -hmm. but yeah. like if you're 20, then that's only 40, uh, and yeah. then you know, true. like I don't feel like doing math. Yeah, because um, it, it could be like 30 or so, right? Yeah. So that that could work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Uh, so Summer is the person in my picture. Yes. So you I, have to get I, I do have Summer a... and Maribel together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is so your I've, goal. That's my goal. And so, okay. So then this is a question for Maribel. Uh, what do you think I really am instead of a time traveler? A bee doctor. <laughs> 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 I don't know. What is the question? Like, what, what are we... What do, you, what do I think you really are? Yeah, because um, I'm thinking, like, a bee doctor is who I'm posing as, right? Right. So you th you probably think I'm something else aside from a bee doctor. Right. Mm. Yeah, I mean, some kind of con man. Oh, um, interesting. Mm. Right. I mean, if I figure out that you're not a bee doctor. Yeah. That it's like, you're trying to... Um, yeah, I mean, maybe I think that you are working for Summer to try and, like ruin something in the town to get this wind farm Ooh. built or something you know because i think eventually like being back i kind of side with the town mm -hmm. right 
Yeah. Like, there has to be some kind of conflict there where, like, you and I, like, because obviously we can't get together. We're on opposite sides of this. Of so, <laughs> so I think that, like, you are, you are helping Summer try and get this wind farm built. Yeah. I like, I, okay, I like that. Yeah. So well, amazing. Yeah. I have, uh, I have the questions. What deal could we make together? And I think I will ask that of Maribel. Ooh. Mm. What deal could we make together? Um, I mean, I think that, like, after some time here, we can both agree that, like, this town needs something. Like, it can't uh, stay like this. It won't survive. Um, even, you know, even for all of the things that I love about it, being from here, like, it, it can't. It can't stay this way. Yeah. You've um, been somewhere else. You know what's out there. Right, yeah. right. And then, like, I know for their own good, if they want to thrive, they can't, you know. Um, they need some infrastructure. It has crumbling infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think, you know, we can agree that something has to happen here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So m maybe, like, you you want me to do some development, just not necessarily the wind farm, right? Because that's gonna that's gonna just completely mess with the whole bee mm -hmm. thing. In or like or all... maybe even the wind farm could still happen, but it doesn't have to be in that exact location. Yeah. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so my question to Rick: What do you realize about me that no one else does? Ooh. I mean. I, I would have known you as, are, are we going with parent? Yeah, I think so. I we can just, yeah, let's, let's not worry. Let's, let's hand wave Dear it. listeners, don't worry about the math. It's fine. Don't worry about the math. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So I would have known you as, uh, you know, one of my moms. Yeah. And, uh, and I would have known like a different side of you than I think even you tell yourself that you have. Oh, Oh, because, yeah, because Rick can see yeah. that soft, loving parent side that yeah. you want for yourself. Yes, And exactly. that you don't think anybody cares for, like, to have from you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Like, I I You're I the parent you that you didn't childhood. have. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so you, you know that that is in me, but you're not seeing any part of it now. Yeah, so I have to try to, try to coax it out somehow without, mm -hmm. like, getting on your bad side. Yeah, like you, you probably know stories that I've told you. Yeah, like, like gifts I've given you. Like this belonged to my father, who was. And a you're like, real gosh jerk. darn it, they have to kiss at the honey festival, or it's over. Oh, this is this a parent over. trip sort of thing? Almost. <laughs> yes, it like, is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Christmas parent trip. Oh yes. <laughs> You, and you set that up so well with the honey kiss. That, oh, oh, oh. oh wow, that's good. That's so good. <laughs> oh, I'm like so excited. <laughs> oh, so I epic. want this movie so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Gosh, how, come, how come TV channels never call us? <laughs> we have like such great know. stories here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's amazing. So I'm so mad. Uh-huh. <laughs> I ran out of room and my notes are so messy now, but... Well. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, good news is that's it. That's character creation. You done? Oh, oh this is so good. <laughs> that's so good. We we pretty much set up a whole movie worth of things to do. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I don't even know what we're going to talk about in our fan fiction section, but I bet we'll figure <laughs> like, it out. Like we've we've been telling the fan fiction. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this was so good. Amazing. Oh, love it. Do you have anything else that you want to say about this? character creation before we do our our closing stuff no okay this is, this is i perfect. feel like it spoke for itself it, it, it yeah. Really did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah danny thank uh, you so much for joining us for our christmas belonging character creation episode this was fantastic mm -hmm. yeah thank you so much this is as weird and perfect as i wanted it to be <laughs> <laughs> do you want to remind people where they can find you and what you are up to uh sure uh, you can find me on Twitter at Danny Plays RPGs. You can find the games I make, including this one, at Danny Makes RPGs. Itch.io. And you can listen to my world building podcast, Pod of Wonder, at Pod of Wonder, or wherever podcasts are found. Wonderful. Well, thank you again for joining us. And thank you to everybody for listening. Uh, please join us on the next episode for our discussion block. Call to watch action. Yeah, like that. I am so excited for this 
like mess that we made in this episode. <laughs> like this was this was so much fun. It was everything that I hoped mm-hmm. this game would be. Uh, um, more it's more full than of, everything. More than that, yes. It's full of bear puns and honey festivals <laughs> and uh, secret time traveling love stories. And uh-huh. I mean, it was what more could you want for Christmas? I know. Really. I- I really want to see this uh, this movie so I badly. Know. I'm like, that's, I think that's the thing, though, that's really frustrating about this game is that I'm like, oh, this one isn't a Hallmark movie that I could watch. Like, this is a <laughs> thing that I made up. You know, this is like a weird fever dream that I had and it isn't actually a movie. Call us Lifetime Movie Network. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> I mean, what kind of can you watch? You know, you've got you got time travel. You got uh, uh, you've got like a uh, secret like festival thing that needs to happen. And yeah, you've got gracious. like friends to en- like enemies to friends yeah, nonsense. You exactly. got, like, I mean, like secret honey kiss festival. Like I, I'm sure uh, we could fit fake it dating in there at some point. I'm too. sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm like, I, I like, I'm almost mad at this game. I had so much fun, but I'm like almost mad at it. Because <laughs> it's, it leaves me wanting so much it was more. Too good. Like this is, you know, it was too good. It was too, and not in the same way that it usually do. Usually, I want more because I'm like, I want to play this. But now mm-hmm. it's like I want someone to play me playing this. You know, <laughs> I want to, I want to watch this. Yes, exactly. I want to experience it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, but before we head out, before you go to find some less good Hallmark movie, <laughs> um, let's do some calls to action. Absolutely. Uh, first up, if you like what we are doing here, check out what we have to offer in the One Shot Network Patreon Secret Archive. You can get there at patreon.com slash one shot podcast. Uh, we are hoping to get at least one bonus episode out a month. Uh, where we cover a smaller game's character creation uh, and sometimes actually play the game if there's enough time. Mm -hmm. Uh, We'll be getting more of that content coming soon, uh, just as soon as the holidays aren't as busy for us. Uh, But we're really excited to get to record more things together. So, Yeah, we've been having fun with it so far. So, Mm -hmm. you know, as soon as we can um, not be just completely slammed for the holidays and moving and sick and all those other things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as soon as Absolutely. there's time for games, we will do game stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, honestly, uh, 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 we had Tracy Barnett on uh, a few times already mm-hmm. and for these bonus episodes. Um, and they brought uh, one of their games uh, with them at one point. Uh, and we had a ton of fun with it. So I, I'm hoping to lure some more guests that have games in uh, so we can just do some nonsense with their game. You said that like you're gonna like fill a trap with cookies. <laughs> like, yeah, game designers. <laughs> yeah, game designers. Come, come on, you come can on, do have it. a have a good time with some character creation. It's, and it's, maybe, not, it's not a trap at all. <laughs> it's not a trap at all. <laughs> just just turn on your microphone, hit the record button, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. Yep. Um, hopefully, hopefully we will be able to trap some game designers into doing things with us. Uh, so far, it's worked great. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that like in the next month or so, we'll have something else for you. Absolutely. Uh, one thing that I would like to say on our more serious note um, for our call to action portion, um, I have been wanting to kind of save this for a couple weeks, but I keep like not being really sure how to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um. I would like to shout out the Waukesha Foundation Community Fund. Um, I'm sure some of you probably heard that there was a Christmas parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin, um, where someone drove through the parade and killed Mm -hmm. six people and injured about 50 other people. Yeah. Um, Waukesha is very close to where I live. Um, It is also where I work. Mm -hmm. And where this parade took place is right down the street from the hospital that I work at. And... um, that hospital is where most of these victims were treated. Mm. So this is something that has hit pretty hard for me. Um, I was getting notifications from work that like our hospital was in lockdown and all that kind of stuff while this was happening. Um, one of the people that was killed was a chaplain at our hospital. Oh, wow. Um, so it's just, yeah, doctors that I work with were were working in the emergency room that night. Um, so it's it's something that's very close to me, has hit close to home as a city that I work in. 
Um, so we're going to put a link to uh, the community fund in our show notes if you're able to give. Um, that goes toward helping the families with like their hospital expenses mm -hmm. and some of the other things that um, that they have going on, especially right around Christmas. Yeah, um, this is a really a really tough time to lose somebody and especially in that way when you're out at a festivity having fun with your family and friends yep. to go through that kind of tragedy um so it's uh you know fun to help the community kind of recover from this too because obviously mm -hmm. it, it hurts all of the people around it too so yeah absolutely um we'll put that in the show notes so if you are able to give or support in any way that would mean a lot to me mm -hmm. yeah no absolutely uh it it really, uh, you know, I'm an hour and a half north mm -hmm. of Waukesha and uh, just hearing about that happening uh, just broke my heart. And then uh, knowing, like, if I were in that situation, I I, I can't even fathom. Yeah. Right. Uh, as a as a father and everything right now. So it's like, mm -hmm. goodness. Yeah. If you can, please, please go ahead and give. And uh, uh, it, it really would help a lot of people out. But uh, that's all we have for today's episode. Uh, next time we get into some really great discussion. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, really, oh my goodness, we go places uh, with the fan fiction as well a little bit. It was fantastic. <laughs> so, it was fantastic. I mean, really, uh, check us out next, uh, next week. And uh, you know what? Uh, stay safe, everybody. Uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, drink water. Get vaccinated. And keep making those amazing people. We'll see you next time. Character Creation Cast is a production of the One Shot Podcast Network and can be found online at www.charactercreationcast.com. Head to the website to get more information on our hosts, this show, and even our press kit. Character Creation Cast can also be found on Twitter at CreationCast or on our Discord server at discord.charactercreationcast.com. I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Bolter, and I can be found on Twitter at Lord Neptune or online at lordneptune.com. Our other host, Amelia Antrim, can be found on Twitter at Ginger Reckoning. Music for this episode is used with a Creative Commons license or with permission from the podcast they originated from. Further information can be found within the show notes. Our main theme music is Hero Remix by Steve Combs and is used with a Creative Commons license. This podcast is owned by us under Creative Commons. This episode was edited by Ryan Bolter. Further information for the game systems used and today's guests can be found in the show notes. If you'd like to leave us a rating or review, we have links to various review platforms out there, including Apple Podcasts, in our show notes. Also, check the show notes for links to our other projects. Thanks for joining us. And remember, we find that the best part of any role-playing game is character creation. So go out there and create some amazing people. We will see you next time. Now we gotta read some show blurbs. 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 Character Creation Cast is hosted by the One Shot Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, visit OneShotPodcast.com, where you'll find other great shows like A Horror Borealis. A Horror Borealis is an actual play Monster of the Week podcast set in the 1990s in the fictional town of Revenant, Alaska, just south of the nation's least visited national park and way north of everything else. A reclusive small game hunter with a magical secret a young anarchist librarian with a passion for conspiracy theory, and a sensible park ranger with a strong local book club following find themselves pulled together by common threads woven mysteriously into their past when monsters begin plaguing their tiny community. But they soon discover the things they're fighting run much deeper and much closer to home. Tune in for a story about identity, empathy, community, mental illness, and healing, and stay for the beloved local diner.